and welcome back this is the second battle of the Russian Championships <laughs> 2v2 War Ever Tournament uh, final um, it's a best of five it's RTK Gypsy and RTK Arclanon versus BIA Godlike and BIA Legend and we have for RTK Greenskins and Chaos and they're up against Empire and Dwarves. Now, Empire and Dwarves combo, we've just seen RTK use that very well. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Goblin Wolf Riders at the back there. So, the two gyrocopters and a flying general. And both sides have got artillery here. So, we are going to get a fair amount of shooting at the start. So, for RTK, we've got the L cannon. And the Hammer of Gork. And for BIA. Grudge Thrower. Two Grudge Throwers. And the Great Cannon. Bit of early shooting going on between the uh, Gyrocopters and Morgrub's Mangy Marauders. Oh, it's fairly even. Flying Squad just chasing off uh, Gyrocopters. Let's see what these... Uh, Artillery units been targeting. Uh, just a few spearmen. And over here, Chaos Warriors. Nice, decent char target and the aspiring champions. Bit of a threat coming in from the uh, Empire Flying Squads. Just threatening that Hell Cannon. It's chased off by uh, these two Feral Manticores. The Orc War Boss. Fire Sorcerer and the Chaos Lord. And... Uh, that's just been a Manticore cast there, yep. Yeah. That's a good move by BIA. Oh, it's a slow start, but just a little bit of... He doesn't want to get too close with these more groups. Uh, because on this flank we've got two Angunas and two Albert... No, one Albertir, one Spearman Shields. On the other flank, Angunna and Albertirs. Let's have a look, see what we're going in on. Uh, yeah, got the Quarrelers there. In the centre, the Dwarves have got one, two, three, four units of Quarrelers. Oh, whoa, whoa. There we go. I'm missing the action. So this is the fight. Morgrim's getting shot up. And the Emperor Gen General wisely pulling out. He's uh, still got three units there. It looks like the Baron Manticore is the target, strangely, still. The General's gone back in. He's gonna he's gonna get targeted for sure. Cause he's 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 the king here. Uh, he's 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 lucky enough he's routed the she used one of his potions. So the Amber Wizard becomes the next best target there. And he's shattered, he's gone. So that's it. Oh but the Chaos Lord. He's in uh, he got caught up then. It's, yeah, um, I would say that RTK came slightly on top there, because that Amber Wizard is gone. And the General for the Empire and the Chaos Lord are about even. But the Feral Manticore was badly wounded as well. It looks like RTK, who tried a sneaky little move with the Goblin Riders onto the Angonus. I would say, yeah, RTK came out marginally on top. A few more. Spearman getting shot there. Let's see what's going on over here. Those aspiring champions, they've been whittled down to not too many units, uh, not too many troops. The Warriors with Albadeers and the Chaos Weapons, they're also getting hit. The Squigs have been hit a little bit. They're not too bad. There. There's enough troops. And um, again, with the uh, nice shot on the Dwarf Warriors with great weapons, there's been a few hits on the um, on the Dwarven lines. But nothing, nothing too bad. But we'll notice the Hammer of Gork is nearly out of ammo, as is the Grudge Thrower. Or oh, one of the Grudge Prowess. Um, the L Cannon and the Great Cannon, they've got plenty of ammo. 
that was a missed shot. So let's we'll see what's going on over it. Now, the, while it's been happening, there's been some good shots on the uh, chaos line there. We're seeing quite a bit more damage. There's more groups. Uh, going to try to get a few more shots, and <laughs> they flee straight away. These Chaos Doors look pretty happy with uh, what's going on there. Oh, that was a great shot on it again. Landing somewhere on the Quarrelers. I think, uh, I was going to say, I think how the Dwarf player has set himself up in this big blob. Well, it's not a blob, but quite a compact formation. Makes a big target for uh, the Hell Cannon. Whereas the long lines of R2K would have possibly been better making single lines there, R2K. Even, it, it just creates the potential for an overshot. If you miss the target you're going for, sorry about that, if you miss the target you're going for, you can sometimes hit the target behind. So if you set them in just one line while you're having an artillery fight, well, it's not a great risk. Well, there's this much distance between the armies. <clears throat> the infantry, or, or rather the uh, units, there's some nice units, uh, nice shots going in there. The infantry is the better target than going for the opposing artillery at the moment. <clears throat> well, the artillery has not got much hole. Oh. And it looks like the Elkan has switched targets and is going for the handgunners and the halberdiers here. Can't fault that decision because if those handgunners are whittled down, then that's big. But I do think um, this group here would be the better target. It's just a bigger group. And. That's what he's gone for. Yeah, just uh, catching a couple of men there. But a couple of men. There's two less guns shooting at you. And that handguns can take a lot out. Let's stay with shooting with that cannon shot there. Yeah, BIA, Brothers in Arms, a moving Empire now. Whoa, that, that seemed to arc in there. That was a great shot. Bit of swerve on the ball. So, Otter K will be wanting to take out this captain. He's just a bit of a pass. Okay. Another beautiful shot. They're down to 46 and starting to waver. By taking out that handgunner unit, it just allows the advance to reach the enemy lines without losing men. Oh, because of where he'd moved then, the Albadeus caught that along with the Angunas. That was a pretty much perfect shot. There we go. Goblin Wolf Riders trying to get a charge on the remaining Angunas unit there. Well, again, they won't be able to do much in the way of shooting. Nice shots going in from the other flank now. Squigurt up against the uh, Feral Manticore. I fancy the Squigurt here. It's just got enough. Uh, here goes the Empire of. the General of the Empire. A risky manoeuvre, but then. Um, OTK haven't got much in the way. Oh, he's, he's done a nice charge on the. Uh, oh, Shaman. But counter charge. Oh! Counts charged and he is going to die. Pretty sure of that. He's fleeing. He's gone. Okay, Empire in trouble. Of the two generals, Empire was the one that RTK would have wanted. Um, their units are just a little bit more fragile than the dwarves. Of all the factions, dwarf generals are the least important to target. It's still nice to kill them, but you get the least points. Now, the shaman is returning. It was good of the Empire to get rid of him. 
But here we see the Empire front lines, including the real outdoor Griffites, are getting chewed up. While that held cannon is still bombarding the uh, the rear lines. And here we go. Um, the Empire captain is trying to target the Chaos Lord, but he's getting counter-targeted by the two Feral Manticores. And he's the last leadership. And the Orc Lords come in as well. This could be the end of Empire. And yeah, the, the, the lines are all starting to waver. I think uh, the Ammo of Gork squad possibly just march up. They've got no ammo, so not quite sure what they're still doing at the machine. Move them up. As you can see, there's not a huge amount left. It's, it's predominantly dwarves holding that captain. If he's not chased down, it's going to uh, return. Uh, but they're going for the dwarf lord now. And uh, if if I was God's okay, I'd try and move that chaos lord out of the range of fire. There's no point risking him now. These squigs should be either chasing down units or getting into action. There we go, they're moving. And the Dwarf Lord has been pushed back. So RTK will be looking at taking out the Woundsmith. Because he's a definitely a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> Hell cannon is still bombarding. Here come the gyrocopters. Let's try and save uh, the dwarf lord. See, he's in a bad spot at the moment. Chaos lord and the man's cause. Thinking, nice to come in, and we are seeing the mash route. So quite a long battle. This 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 battle's over though. Um, I, I, it was closer than the original one. 2-0 um, to RTK. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.